Mm. Good morning, guys. Mm. Two seconds, wait. I need to wait two seconds. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sully. If you're new here, hey, and welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want it. I gave them the drill, they sucked it up, I got them on it. I bought a new paddock, I had the white, so I two tone them. Taking these drugs, I'm gonna be up until the morning. If it ain't your car, you just at least you don't own it. If I'm in the club, I. Guys, it's travel day. Again, I'm going to Gambia. It sounds crazy to say it because yesterday I was talking about it and when I travel to Gambia, it truly feels like I enter a new dimension, a new world because it's literally like a different culture, it's a different weather, like everything is different. Um, yeah, so today I start my two day long journey. Well, right now, time is like 10 a.m. And in an hour, I'm about to go to school actually because I have a it's like a test to do. Um, if I don't do it now, I have to wait until after the winter holidays and ain't nobody got time for that. Um, my flight doesn't leave until 7 p.m. this evening. So I just wanted to do the intro right now, but I probably will not film until like I get back from school and we start to get like going to the uh, airport. So, yeah. I just wanted to do the intro, but I'll see y'all whenever, oh, wherever we're gonna get ready to go um to the airport. Yeah, three weeks, three weeks. <laughs> hey, ouch! <laughs> Gambia twenty twenty. Oh, 2021. Hey, we're fucking God. Okay. Guys, it is uh, currently like two. No, it's four. Literally four. And my. Uh, I had a mental breakdown period. Uh, but the line is crazy. I'm about to film. Two hours later. Guys, we've been standing in this queue for two hours, not like an hour and 30 minutes, and we're finally moving. Um, so yeah, we're still at the like the baggage drop-off point. So guys, we just successfully checked in or whatever. Um yeah, everything was on point. The girl was trying to say that we needed to fill in some like health protocols. But we did not because I literally have been checking every single week and day before leaving and and I did not see anything about signing no goddamn health protocols. I was like, no, and she was like, okay, that's true. So we're about to go through the um, security checkpoint now. Super tired. I'm scared, but we got it. Yeah. Hey guys, we just went through security successfully like everything went very successful i'm not gonna like we're not we haven't even left the ground yet but like until now everything is going super good here's my suitcase travel fit my brother and my mama aka the stressiest queen ever we're on our way to our gate now our flight is supposed to leave in 45 um but I think that they have, like we have a new time and it's, instead of seven, we're gonna leave at 7.30 because everything has been late. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna find a gate and probably like stroll around tax-free or something. Um, okay, so time is currently um, 12.40 a.m. Um, I'm super tired and it's super hot on this flight. And I don't 
don't know if you can hear me because I can barely hear myself. Um, but I think we should land in like the next hour, hopefully. Because they said it will be four, it's a four hour flight and we've been here for four hours soon. So hot in this country. We're on our way to the hotel and I'm super tired. Like it's literally 1 a.m. or something. Do a lot for my camera. Like I don't know what happened with my back camera. So here's the hotel that we're gonna stay in. So oh, guys, we just entered our room. My pup is looking less less and less like a pup. I don't like that at all. I don't appreciate it. My hair. Anyway, this is our hotel room. Let me just I'm gonna show y'all real quick. It has this big ass mirror. Mirror. that i like but you enter here here is where you enter so you just and they get the lights i think my mom is there right now but you have this little area thingy, and then you have a wardrobe with a safe i don't know why but yeah you have a wardrobe with a lot of stuffy and then you continue to walk in here and then you got three beds because we're three people me and my mom finna sleep here and my brother finna sleep here you have a tv my back camera is literally destroyed i don't know what i've done but yeah so there's mirror everywhere mirrors everywhere and that's like one of the things i actually like with that and then you have we have a big balcony it seems like no this is nice we have a big balcony i don't know if it's wet out here it's not okay this gives me anxiety because it's a glass then we have these cute things you can sit at have the view of lisbon i guess get it i actually like lisbon it's like i like it here okay okay here hey, and here's the toilet me. here's the toilet and we love the light here too Ooh. what happened okay anyway we got some products so you have i guess you're finding i can buy your and then yeah actually Guys, as I genuinely just said, I am super duper tired. Uh, we got breakfast at 9 tomorrow. And it's almost 2 a.m. So sleep is not really on our side. I'm thinking about extending our check out, our check out time into 2 instead of 12. Because when you check out at 2, you can basically straddle around this area for like an hour or two and then around four my african mom will start to stress about getting to the airport which is probably the best um um you know judging of today um so yeah well, i'll talk to y'all tomorrow Good night. i'm super duper tired like that ass tired. We're gonna go down and some breakfast, and then I will come up and More than sleep again. again. Um, we just came back from eating. Um, the hotel breakfast was aight, I guess. One thing about Portuguese people is that you come from the airport, and they for some reason think that you can speak Portuguese. Now, I don't know if it is because we're black um, and there are a lot of, you know, people of color in Portuguese speaking countries such as Brazil and uh, uh, Angola and even here in Portugal. But in whatever case, I just feel like when people come from the airport, just to be sure, talk English because English is a international language and everybody should know english Guys, we um is about to check out we are about to check out that's what you say my hair is looking a mess like it's not even a pop number so here's my travel fit number two is this hoodie again and then some tights and white socks instead of uh, the matching um, pants um so yeah guys y'all know how much i talk about my skincare and all yeah it literally just got thrown in the bin everything all of it i hate these people he took my face wash he took my face scrub and he took my spray deal 
And now I'm mad as hell. We're finna eat some KFC. KFC. Stop on me. And I'm not even excited. Uh, we came to the airport. We've been to security checkpoints and all of that. I don't even like these bitches no more. Um, yeah, we're finna eat and it's like four, three hours before our flight leaves. So yeah, I am super hungry though, so I'm happy that we're finna get some munch, but I'm mad as hell. Okay, so we just ate. Um, for some reason, I'm still feeling super sleepy. So I'm just finna edit actually. And then uh, we'll see what we're gonna do. There's a lot of stores here. But yeah, so I'm gonna go through the duty free again, like in an hour or so. Not right now, though, because I'm tired. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk to y'all, like, I guess when it gets closer to boarding or whatever. Guys, uh -huh. like, literally speaking, three hours later, uh, we just got our gate. Um, it's 43A, I think. Yeah. So we're heading towards the gate. Um, the flight is supposed to leave at um, 8.50, so I would guess that we will board around like 8 sometime, which is in 40 minutes now. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna walk, take our time, because we really uh, is in no hurry. We're just gonna walk and take our time, go t get to the gate, get settled, and hopefully get on this plane and get moving soon are we giving off like french vibes because if it's not if it's not portuguese people speak uh people speak french with us man was like bon voyage and i mean shit i've been taking french classes since sixth grade but no i don't give away no french vibe and uh, we're on our way now we were skewing to get to the passport check and the boarding guard check. to pay because you need to pay to get into this stupid ass country so yeah we're gonna pay 200 crowns basically a thousand dollars so we are at the uh, baggage pickup point and i'm not gonna lie this is the most nervous part about the whole trip because if you don't get all your suitcases you're done you're done so Um, we just came and I'm gonna do a um, tour the next time I vlog Probably won't be tomorrow, but the next time I vlog I will do a tour. I'm just gonna end this vlog right here. Um Hope you like this video. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe We're finally in Gambia It's crazy. It's fucking crazy out here and I think this trip's gonna be a movie actually, so I'm excited Good night